everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a makeup collection video pretty self-explanatory i know that this kind of phase in the youtube world has kind of ran its course and i did miss it tremendously i meant to do this a couple like almost over a month ago when i did my makeup declutter i meant to do a makeup collection and i just have not had the time so today i don't have a video for this week and this probably won't go up this week it'll go up next week or yeah you'll see it when you see it um so i figured i'd go ahead and do this i did have to clean up a little bit my makeup area but it's clean sort of not as clean as it normally would be um so yeah i'm just going to show you my makeup collection and t-shirt of the day i don't think i did one in the last video but it's just this tie-dye stitch shirt super comfortable really love it i'm really about the disney shirts so yes um this t-shirt of the day um, make a collection video. It's gonna be a long video. So let's go ahead and jump into it It's gonna be a little off when I get to this stuff over here I'm not moving my lighting like I did for my makeup declutter It was just too difficult for me to work around in this small space So I'm gonna quickly go over what's on this desk right here that sits in front of me when I film I always have my makeup brushes on here um, All my setting sprays are over here. I have a couple lotions in there. I got Morphe This is my brush cleaner from Sonia Kashuk Anastasia Dewey Set, Milani, Make It Dewey, and Make It Last. A couple Mario Badescu sprays I don't really use anymore. I need to get rid of this one. It's brand new, so I need to give it to someone that will use it. Um, that's pretty much it. Over here, I just have a lip scrub, my ColourPop, Super Shock and Ritz. Uh, my brow stuff's over here. Uh, NYX Concealer. This is a sample of the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. I primer, lip scrub. This is all my brow stuff, so I got brushes, pencils, spoolies, scissors, trimmers, I got um, tweezers, um, pore extractors. Here is just my sunscreen that I use, Body Shop Vitamin C, and my Mario Badescu drying cushion for when I have bad breakouts. All I keep in here are my double-ended brushes, so Anastasia, if you use anything like that. Of course, my brushes need to wash them all. This stuff is just um, brands that I'm not going to be using anymore, so I have it separated out here because I'm trying to use some of this stuff up. Um, Wet n Wild, everybody knows why I'm not gonna be using them anymore. They're not cruelty free. Juvia's Place, so sad, not gonna be using them anymore. Um, I mentioned it in the description box of my, not last video, but I think it's the video before that of why I'm not going to be using them anymore. So there's that. Moving on behind me, which is the bulk of everything. This doesn't have makeup in it. This is more like storage and it does have like my Halloween special effects stuff in it, but that's about it for makeup. All the makeup's in this one, which I'm gonna have to kind of spread out because one of these drawers is so full, it almost doesn't open. Let me go over really quickly where all these things are from. So this is my favorite sign out of the two. Love it. I got both of these from Burlington. Um, elephants. I think I got all of these elephants from Marshalls. Um, this little divider I got from Marshalls. This I got from Burlington. And this my sister got me from Hobby Lobby, I believe. I was looking for something to keep my beauty sponges in and I could not find it. I found that and I really love it. And then she bought me this. So I'm going to, I'll probably change them up here and there. This... Um, nothing's in this cute little box. So in here, this is still just all the ColourPop Disney Villain stuff. I still have not filmed what I want to film with this. Um, here I have a moisturizer that I'm going to be trying out when I run out of my next one. The e.l.f. Hydrate, Super Hydrate. So I have that. Um, up here, I think I'm actually only missing this one lipstick, which is my Dosa Colors Desi X Katie. Okay, I had a couple like um, lip products in my purse I had to go grab. So I have the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint and Uncuffed. I have my Desi X Katie Dose of Colors. It's a mauve story. Um, all of these are Dose of Colors right here. Um, this is Bear With Me. Um, Rosebud, sorry, the cat was distracting me. Um, Monday's talk is chic which is like my next go-to after the desi one and then this one is extra saucy then i also have the two two from the i love sarah e collection right here in just peachy and nude chica there we go and then these are from the ulta beauty 
collab they did with the Avengers. I only have three of them. I have Amazed, Supercharged, and I've got this. I've only really tried one of those, and they're not my favorite formula, but I want to keep them just for packaging. Um, I'm just mostly keeping them for packaging collectors type stuff. Then I have my favorite lip combo right here, my Makeup Revolution Bullet Lipstick and Chauffeur, and my Kathleen Lights ColourPop gloss in Moonchild. Then I just have a clear gloss from Essence right here. Then I have my Makeup Revolution Chauffeur Matte Liquid Lipstick. If you haven't seen the video on this, it's my last video. Definitely go check it out. Really recommend these liquid lipsticks. Then I have two liquid lipsticks from Melt right here. I have a deeper one in Death Cherry and then a peachy one in Gwendolyn. Um, they're not my favorite formula, but their colors are super pretty. I'm just going to run through these drawers really quickly. Um, I have some more ColourPop up here. All these right here are ColourPop. These are a mix of the Kathleen Lights and the Laura Lee collab. These are just a couple random ones I have in Times Square and Sunday. These are all Nick slip teases, which are honestly probably expired. I don't wear them that often. Down here, I have two backups of the Desi X Katie Mob Story um, lipsticks. They were recently on sale for like half off, so I picked two of them up. Some NYX lip liners. I love Melissa Michelle collab. A super old M uh, Michelle Fawn lipstick. A ColourPop lipstick in Layover. And an old Flower Beauty lipstick. And then down here, I have this stuck. I have another ColourPop lipstick in Beeper. I didn't realize that was down here. And this one, too, in Tool. I didn't realize those were down there. So I'm just going to move those up. I have two Flower Beauty. Um, what are these? A Miracle Matte Lip. One in Bear Honey and Merlot Kiss. I have the Alyssa Ashley. Alyssa Ashley and Elf Lip Gloss. And a Candy Johnson Too Faced Lipstick. So I think I got this organizer from Marshalls, and then this is like a really old lipstick um, holder that I've ordered years and years ago. Don't know where. You can get them everywhere though now. I just have all my sponges in here, and then over here I have my palettes. These might not always be go-to palettes, but they're ones that I want to keep on display. So I have my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Christian um, Dominique's um, Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Anastasia Palettes. I've kind of fallen off the Anastasia bandwagon and haven't bought a palette since Soft Glam. So I have Modern Renaissance, Soft Glam, um, Subculture, and the Prism Palette. This is the Ulta Avengers um, palette. I've actually never even used this. It still has the plastic on it. Um, just, I love it. I We saw it in game in theaters four times, I think. So, yeah. Um, I still have my Nicole Guerrero um, glow kit up here. I use it still. Tartan Adeline Morin. My Blushing Berries from Dosa Colors. I love Sarah E. Dosa Colors. And Kathleen Light's Dream Street. So, if you hear background noise, cats, first off. Second, kids are here. Dad's here. So, yeah. It's going to be noisy. Okay, so, moving into this top drawer um, right here. Bear with me. I'm going to be moving around a lot because I didn't bring a chair over here or anything. Because like I said last time when I did my makeup declutter, it was just too complicated to get a chair and lights in this small section. So we are trying our best. So in this top drawer up here, I just have my foundations. have an Ulta Beauty Soft Focus. It's a really good foundation. I just need to get a different shade. I didn't go outside a lot this summer, so I did not get my tan like I normally do, so it's really dark for me. Same with this Milani Conceal and Perfect one. I haven't used that in a long time, actually. Um, I have this Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow um, Foundation Serum Drops. I used this in a video recently. They're pretty good. I've been using them off and on. Then I also have two of the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Sticks and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Concealers, I have the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage and the Youthful Glow Concealer. I realized that I just wiped these counters down right before this video and there's already like cat fur dust on them. So I'm sorry about that. They are clean, but it is what it is. So, like I was saying, I have these Ulta concealers, I have a Milani one, Tarte Shape Tape, and three of the Revolution Concealing ones. 
I just have my sponges here, Real Techniques, e.l.f. Love, this is a new Holy Grail sponge, and Morphe. have a couple Ulta primer samples back here, and the Hydrating and the Poreless Face Primer. They're okay, I don't really reach for them that much. Um, so, yeah. So these are the two primers that I do use. This has been my combo. I've been layering these two lately. So I will start off with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and then, then I will put the Elf Poreless Putty Primer on my T-Zone. I love that combo. Powders, Tarte Shape Tape, Milk Matte Powder, Cover FX. This one is their um, Perfect Setting Powder, Translucent, my Candy Johnson and Too Faced collab, Milani Translucent, and a Milani Prep Setting Go Transparent Powder. Um, so let's for that top drawer. Next is, this is actually my highlights have thinned out a lot. Um, I got rid of a lot and then I had to get rid of a couple more for Juvia's Place and Wet n Wild. So I have my Anastasia Amrezi, Morphe, Smashbox, Casey Holmes, Colourpop, Lexitarian. Then I also have my Tarte Park Ave Princesses, the matte. And this is a sample of the shimmer one. I have the Ulta Matte Bronzer, Milani um, Silky Matte. This is my new favorite bronzer. Um, and the, why does this always happen? <laughs> and why are you always the first for, for this stuff? You can't play with it. He's so furry, like literally everything sticks to him. Come here. So yeah, thankfully that's not broken, but my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Then I have all my palettes right here, so my Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped and Sugar right below it. This is the BH Cosmetics Blushing in Bali Highlight and Blush Kit. Um, super, super gorgeous. I know they just came out with another one that I'm really excited to try. The Milani um, Flowers of Love Blush Trio. Um, blush kit in Radiant from Anastasia and my Melissa Michelle Bling on the Glam Cheek Palette. I feel like y'all have seen all this stuff. So, yeah. Okay, this is where I kind of got lazy cleaning and stopped taking everything out to dust. So you might see a lot of dust and cat fur in here. So, over here I just have all my lashes. I have a lot of the Ardell Foam Ink Whiskey, Whiskies, Foam Ink Wispies, Demi Wispies. Oh my gosh, I can't get it together. Um, regular Wispies. I have the Melissa Michelle lashes back there. Some double Demi Wispies. Some Lily lashes in Miami. These are some more Foamies. Love Ardell, as you can tell. And then in here are my primers and just like tools, so sharpeners, a lash, um, applier, whatever, curling, and for mascara, this is not supposed to be in here. Uh, my lash glue that I currently use is the Kiss, and then this primer is in here because it's not a go-to primer, it's a more one. Bought it for the James Charles, Charles palette and hate it. Okay, so this is my mascaras. Um, I don't know why these eyeliners are in here. Cover Girl Professional Super Thick Lash, Lash Blast, Essence Lash, Essence Lash Princess. Stop it. Um, these are two Ulta ones, Legendary Links, and Anth Lashes. And then, yes. And then my eyeliners right here. This is the Cover Girl. Um, I think this is like Fall in Line or Get in Line, something like that. Eyeliner. Um, let me just take this out. Hang on. I'm sitting on the ground, so this is a little, a little difficult. Um, I also have the Dose of Color Set the Tone Eye Creams Liners. I don't know. Hit the Road is the shade. Essence Gel Eyeliner. This is a NYX Vivid Brights in... <laughs> What's this in? Vivid Petal. I have a lot of NYX liners. They're just one of my favorite go-to liners. Let me pick them all out here. Some of these are lip liners. If you've been watching my past couple videos, you know I've been obsessed with using these lip liners in my eyes. So, excuse me, Felix. I have the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This one is in Life Sub Beach. Um, I have the white retractable, a brown retractable, a black retractable, and my NYX Wonder Pencil. I also have two more suede liners. The purple one is in Run the World, and Little Denim Dress is the blue. 
Then I also have the NYX Retractable. This one is in aqua green. Then I also have one in deep purple. No. Okay, and then I also just have a couple I uh, switch things right there. This drawer is the big, big one. Hang on, it's like stuck. This is the drawer that's so packed that I can not even open it. This is all my collab um, palettes, so YouTuber collabs packed in here. So heavy, this drawer probably needs to be split up between two. Um, so let's just dig in here, shall we? I have the Violet Voss and Laura Lee collab. Um, I haven't actually used this in a while. Um, a lot of this stuff in the shore I keep for collecting purposes. I also have the Violet Voss and Nicole Concilio palette. I actually also haven't reached for this in a little bit. Um, so over here I have the Too Faced I Want Candy palette, which I actually think is super cute still for holiday time i mean look at the names it still smells so sweet and it just i just loved using this when i got it excuse me um so back here i have also the morphe and kathleen lights this is one of the first palettes i think i got this right before right after i got the laura lee and violet voss collab this is when i was like really getting into youtube back in like 2013 2014 2014 2015 i would say actually um i got this i didn't use it that much because i wasn't crazy about the quality of morphe but i just wanted it because it was kathleen um so i have also the physician's formula butter collection with casey holmes i've actually n have not even used these eyeshadows i used the blush bronzer and highlight once um the blush is too deep for me the or the blush is too deep and too shimmery bronzer is a little too deep highlighter is really shimmery and i didn't use the lipstick the perfumes up there i do use it occasionally i just want it because it was casey holmes a lot of these i just bought for the youtube collab um situation oh one of my palettes is stuck back here hang on so i also have back here my makeup revolution emily edit palettes this one's the needs mirrors shattered um and i just I didn't reach for any of these when I did my one week using these palettes because I had so many to work with in that one. And the blush bronzer and highlight are okay in this. They're not my favorite. Um, and the powder, I didn't really use that. Um, so this one, I didn't get nearly as much use of out of the Once palette. And this one, um, yeah, let me open it. It's just so massive like look at this ma it's dirty as hell but that massive mirror and these are really beautiful shades you guys know that makeup revolution shades are eyeshadows are not my favorite quality and i did talk to i uh, talked um a little bit about that in these videos when i did the one week or not wasn't no it wasn't one week it was three looks one palette i think I don't remember it was something like that three looks one palette i think it was um these colors are so pretty and honestly they sw i'm gonna swatch and i don't have makeup remover wipes with me okay it's fine um they are super gorgeous and um let me swatch this good vibes one this one in top story um what else We'll swatch a lighter ones. We'll swatch Oh Heavens. This is a really pretty like inner corner highlight. They look super pretty. And this is what they look like swatched. I mean, they're not horrible, especially the shimmers. That one's a little bit of a lighter shimmer, so it's chunkier. The mattes, um, Makeup Revolution mattes, they're just not. So, yeah, this it's a really good palette. It is really cute and pretty, and I was so happy that Emily collabed. Um, and I would probably buy another collab if she did it with makeup revolution honestly because i just really love her she's so awesome and sweet and very very honest in her reviews like i try to be so this palette like i said not my favorite but i am going to hold on to it because it is the collab now i can honestly probably get rid of this one and be okay because this one is it was just never my my cup of tea 
Um, so reaching back here, I have my BH that <laughs> I cannot talk today. This is the BH Cosmetics It's a Judy Time palette, and this was my very first YouTuber collab palette. I bought this in the same purchase as I bought the That's Heart palette with BH Cosmetics. I don't have the That's Heart one anymore. I don't know why I didn't keep it. Um, because I used this one so much as you can see I stopped using it the more I got into filming and makeup um I but I, I will never get rid of this thing um natural is beautiful but makeup is glam I still think that holds true um I still watch Judy occasionally I don't watch her as much as I used to um she's more of a vlogging family channel now which I do enjoy um I think it's awesome to see youtubers kind of grow like that like Obviously, when she did this, I don't think she had her kid yet. I don't think she had her first child. So, I mean, just watching YouTubers grow is so awesome. And I was so happy to get my hands on this and so happy that I have it, honestly. Um, next, I have another BH Cosmetics collab. This one is with Sylvia Ghani. I've actually only ever used this palette once. Um, and it's not that it's a bad palette. It's just I was, the time I bought this palette, I was getting so overwhelmed with so so many palettes I just I use stuff once and then move on to the next and move on to the next and move on to the next and that's why I really want still to do those one week using one palette so I can get so much more use out of these like this is one that I've wanted to do the one week using one palette on like these colors are stunning these are not the best swatches by the way and we will do this one right here I mean, just look at these. This green, green is not my favorite at all. I'm gonna blow some of that because that was a little powdery. So those are those four swatched right there. Super, super pretty. It's really pretty. I don't know why I don't have makeup remover over here. It's all in my sister's apartment. But yeah, so I really want to do one week using one palette. Using this, love the shades. This one and ginger calls my name. So does obsess, like because it's kind of like a mobby brown color and same with under not underrated um with sisterhood right here super pretty these highlights i did try this one because it is my more my shade than libra's but this one's like really really like flaky and glittery so so i'm really excited to hopefully get that um one week using one palette done um i have both of my melissa michelle palettes right here this is the first one it came with Came with nine, uh, nine eyeshadows, a highlight trio, a blush, and then a lip. Like, look at all this cat hair back here. And then a liquid lipstick, which I was kind of excited with the Avengers liquid lipsticks that they were going to be the same formula as this Ulta liquid lipstick. And they are not. But, so I still have that. And I also have our second one, which this one came with um, six, not six, nine eyeshadows, a mix of matte metallic shimmer and then these are like gl pressed glittery type things and this formula right here this one is very reminiscent of the ulta i'll get to them in the next drawer i'll show you what i'm talking about can't think of the name of them but it's like the same formula i'll show you guys what i mean and this also came with a glitter line then i have the infamous jacqueline hill palette did film a one week using one palette using this palette because it was just something i was not reaching for and my mermaid look i did with that with this palette i so in love with this is actually a really good palette you do get so many neutrals in this for a lot of people this could just be your one and done palette because you have all these neutral shades in different shades like and then you can deepen it you have some cooler tones some warmer tones you have these pops of color over here this like a mustardy yellow up there so many different things you can do with this palette and i actually do really recommend this palette and then down here i also have the um morphe and james charles palette this i've used once on camera which was in my pride tutorial i've used it twice off camera so three times total um this is another one i want to do a one week using one palette with and really play with more of these colors down here um this purple i haven't i've hardly swatched anything in this oh god i've been wanting to swatch this ever since i got this palette it's so smooth oh my goodness like 
I really like this purple. Look at that. Super gorgeous. I don't know why I waited so long to swatch that. Um, but yeah, this is another one. I did The two looks I did was actually pretty similar. I really love this shade right here. And I just have this in here so I have the names. The shade right here in Mary. It's a very like mauve brownish, brown mauve tone. So it's got some purple in it. I really love it along with these like golds right up here. They are so pretty. So this is another palette that I do want to try out some more before I tell you definite like, yes, go get it. Because I feel like there are so many color palettes out there and this one is so overused sometimes that I honestly don't want to use it and recommend it. I want to try to find another color palette to use on my channel so it's not just this. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's actually it for my collab drawer. So every time I take everything out of the drawer and put it back in it never ends up in the same order it's like playing tetris so the bottom drawer is kind of underwhelming this is like all my other palettes that aren't up top obviously and in my collab drawer um and i have some like loose random things down here too so these are what i was talking about in the most michelle palette like the ulta lustrous foil eyeshadows i think these came out after that palette too so i have these two in silver leaf and rose gold leaf these are super metallic and reflective if you're looking to really amp up that look i would open them and swatch them but i don't want to open that can of worms right now don't feel like it i also have right here the j cat extreme access pocket shadow and this one is in pops of paparazzi i haven't really i haven't ever used this i did try to i bought it for this pink shade right here in the middle because online it looked a lot more vibrant and it didn't look as pale of a pink um but i do want to try some looks with this like these two shades down here that purple they're so pretty um so i've, I've never really used this on my eyes and i really need to have the essence spice up your life palette which i think they still do sell this and they sell a couple other palettes in this form like this open up like this um I did a video on this. This is not the best formulation of eyeshadows, but you can really make these work. And this is like the perfect warm tone fall palette. Love the names like pumpkin spice, cha cha sriracha, cinnamon rolls, spiced apple cider, chai chai, caramel, habanero honey. Like, come on, perfect fall time palette. So I also have still the Ulta Beauty Matte Neutrals palette. This I think is a very great palette to have on hand. If you by chance ever get like an all glitter palette or shimmer palette, this I think pairs nicely with so many different ones. You do have some cooler tone browns, some warmer tone browns, um, your neutrals, a nice matte black. I got this palette because of this. I made a video specifically using this two years ago, I think it was, with, for that um, gray shade. This is not a palette I've played with a lot. I think I've actually used it on my eyes once. And this is the um, Melt Cosmetics 27 palette. I ordered this as a birthday gift to myself. Hello. And um, I went on there with intentions to order the, what is it, the, oh my god, what is it, Smoke Obsessions palette. And I saw this and I was like, you know what, this one I'm more prone to use. And I've only used it once. I do have a look planned with it, but it's more of a fall time look. So I might wait a little bit before I do that. It's super pretty. And I mean, when I did use it, the quality of the shadows were pretty nice. So yeah, I just makeup. <laughs> I also have the Huda Beauty Neon Orange Obsession Obsessions palette. Um, I love this little palette. I've been wanting to get play with it a little bit more, but I just don't need a job and I don't want to show up there with this neon ass orange eye. I really do love this palette and yeah. um, in here is just like a random mix of mostly glitters. Um, this is my Models Own Glitter Mix. I don't think they sell Models Own at my Ulta anymore. At least I don't think so. Um, I'll check online. Now that you guys know, because this, I really love this glitter palette for this shade right here. I talk about it every time I bring this palette out. This shade, so gorgeous, peachy, summery, awesome. Got a nice white down here, which I like this white, which I'm probably about to regret doing this because I did use this um, for a prom tutorial or a prom look. 
and I just like tapped it over like a white eyeshadow and it just like gives the perfect like amount of glitter. Hang on, I'm tapping it out on my hands so you guys can see what I mean. Like if you don't want like straight glitter, this is a lot because I did swatch a lot. That's what's left on my finger, but you just tap this on and sorry, it's not focusing and it's just so pretty so yeah i really do like this and i hope it's still available so i have just some lit cosmetics glitters in here um they're not all glitters this one is like it is kind of a glitter this one is their one in kabang it's an electric then i have fall in love back in black and then this one is sugar free which the look i have planned with the 27 palette is using one of these glitters then i have a nyx glitter in crystal and I think this is gunmetal yeah and gunmetal I also have the lit daily wear vegan glitter glue and then the NYX cosmetics glitter glue and the Stila one this is probably hella expired um, I think that's expired but it's in rose gold retro is sitting on the floor still um so yeah that is probably the quickest makeup collection video i've ever done i really got through that sped it up didn't talk too much about products because sometimes i just linger way way too much about certain products and if i like them dislike them should i get rid of them stuff like that so i really just kind of went through it and i didn't want it to be too long of a makeup collection video because i did these are kind of like past the point on youtube i probably should just wait till next year but you know what what the hell my channel i'm gonna upload whatever the hell i want to upload and obviously i can't hold the camera to save my life i'm petting a kitty over here so i'm sort of distracted um so yeah i don't want you i don't want to get makeup on you sweet face um so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave also turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime that i post a video and you can also follow me out on my socials i have those listed in the description box down below be sure to check out my last video the makeup revolution um liquid lipstick review and wear test i really recommend checking it out if you're looking at if you're curious about Makeup Revolution in general, because I know not all their products are great for me. So yeah, definitely check that video out. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Say bye.